What's up guys, Aaron Productions here and today I'm going to be showing you guys this really cool board that will basically turn any regular panel into a voice evac panel. And I say that in quotes because of course this isn't up to code, it doesn't have monitoring, and um, it's not approved by anything. This is just for the hobbyists that want to try something different. Um, I have done a video in the past which I'll link up in the iCards of um, how to turn any panel into a voice evac panel. Um, but the issue with that was that basically what I was doing was splicing the speaker into the relay so basically you would have to have the thing playing the whole time and it wouldn't start from the beginning but what this is right here is actually an mp3 player a triggerable one now I guess you could take apart an old one and then use the play button as a trigger but um, these are only 20 bucks and it has four um, different IO slots on there I'm only using one today even though I have the other two because for some reason there's something weird with the relays on this panel but um, you only need one anyways you can also do trouble you can do carbon monoxide you can put any type of mp3 file onto here and then once the relay is triggered which on this panel you can program it for different things like um, let's say you had a CO detector then you program it for supervisory and then you put the CO message on like the second thing and then that goes to the second relay where you set it as supervisory and it will play that message until um, the panel is reset and it will start from the beginning each time. So let's go over the board a little bit itself. So as we can see right here we have our power input which is 24 volts DC. No other power is necessary so we just use the panel power which is another nice thing. One thing I need to mention is that you need to put this on resettable power because um, it only has a few modes of operation like I said in that loop thing. It will continue to loop apparently even after the trigger is released. Um, so basically what you're going to need to do is put it on resettable power so when you reset the panel it will... Um, lose power and cause the mp3 player to shut off and obviously that would turn off the audio. Um, built in amplifier so we just hook this straight up to the speakers no need to have an external amp like I had last time this is basically just this board is all you need um, to make a quote voice evac type system um, for fun. Um, you need an SD card which I'll show you guys exactly how to program it. It's not really programming, you're just writing a few files and changing names. Right here's your volume or your gain because it's for the amp. Headphone output if you're using whatever, a different amplifier, commercial one. Here we have our four triggerable outputs as well as like a serial connection but you guys don't need that. All you need is the um, negative connection which will go to the common of all the relays and then um, the normally open will go to um, the triggerable inputs. Just like I said, really simple input, power, speaker output, and then for relays. Of course you're going to need to power the strobe with a knack as you would usually. Right here I have my Simplex Life Alarm speaker strobe, so that's what I'm going to be using today for this little demonstration. But before we get to the demonstration, let's talk about how we program the SD card really quickly. So guys, like I said, all you're going to need is your micro SD card. Um, you might need a converter, all you do is plug it into your computer. Um, it has to be Windows because it simply um, will not work with a Mac because it tries to make a text file or a raw text file but it really doesn't work. Um, so what you're going to do is right click and then you're going to go to new. Well there's other ways to do this too but you can go to text document. Open that up and we're going to select our mode of operation. Now um, for this particular mp3 player what we're going to want to put is just simply the number one. The number tells what mode of operation we want it to do so there's like mp3 mode where each of the triggers can be like a play pause button, a next button, a replay button, etc. Um, but this one what it's going to do is um, keep looping the message. Um, so now what we're going to do is close out of this, save it. So next thing we're going to do is go to our file manager. Um, so we are going to go to desktop and we can see our text document right here. So um, we're going to rename this as read.cfg. And as you can see when we open it up, and really quickly since this is a new thing, I'm just going to format this as FAT32. So we're going to go back to our desktop. And we're going to take our read, oops, we're going to take our read file and we're going to drag that to our removable disk and as you can see right here again 
just has the number one in it. So here's some good voice evac messages that you can get from firealarmcollector.com. So um, I'm just going to choose one. Okay, so that's the file I want to choose now. I have to let you know that these files aren't in the MP3 format, which is pretty much the only format I think it'll allow. Um, it might allow WAV files, but this isn't a WAV. So um, basically what you're going to need to do is convert those to MP3, which I did after this little segment. So basically if you have an MP3 file, you're fine, but if you don't, you have to convert it to MP3 in order for it to work. So... Yeah, I downloaded it twice. We're just going to copy it over to the removable disk and it's done. And what we're going to do is um, rename this file as well because everything, it doesn't know what it's doing. It's just reading the files in the way that it was programmed. So what we're going to do is label this one 0001. Enter. Save it. And that's all for this. Um, now we can eject our SD card. So we're going to eject, okay, and we are all set. Now we can pop it into our MP3 player. So since I have no inputs hooked up to the panel, I'm just going to be shorting out the zone like this. As you can see, the MP3 player flashes. Attention. Attention. An emergency has been reported. All occupants now, walk of course to the stairway exit too. and walk down to your assigned re-entry floor or main lobby. Do not use the elevator. Walk it down. All the way down. Do not use the elevator. Walk to the nearest stairway. Attention. 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 An emergency has been reported. Now silence won't work, of course, unless you have the relay set to silenceable. But as you can see, when I hit reset, it stopped. That's because I have it on resettable power and the MP3 player shut down. Um, you'll see it power back up. There it goes. So basically, guys, this was a very short video. At least, I mean, some of the technical things might have been a while. But, you know, it's not that hard. Once you figure it out, it's basically like zones on that thing. Um, with just one negative. As long as you just hook it up to the resettable power, the triggers go to the normally open and then commons are all jumped going to the common connection for the triggers and um, speaker is just wired as normal. Then you've got it. So I'll try and link one in the description. Can't guarantee it'll be the same version when you buy it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Maybe somebody will buy one of these. Um, I'm not affiliated with them or whatever because so many people make them anyways. That's going to conclude this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.